Well, I'm thinking I actually need to make this truck in real 4x4. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to make my drive shaft. So, I think I'm going to start on that. Keep looking at this. i got to address this wheel at some point. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. This wheel sort of looks like the original wheel. Maybe I'll make an insert. I'll have to figure that out. Well, anyways, let's get started. So I am shortening, no, I am lengthening this drive shaft. Um, I was going to try to slug it, and then when I was trying to look around find a piece, it turned out I had uh, like this little drive shaft that was the same diameter as this thing. So I cut it to the length I need. I just got to cut this off. You've seen me cut this one off. I'm going to do the similar right there, and then I got to chalk this up in the lathe. Uh, I already did this side, so I, I chalked it up, trued this, welded it. I'll show you how I do the other one, but it's usually when I do drive shafts, I just stab them in and put it on the lathe, and then I just check for, you know, out around with uh, a dial indicator. This is usually my setup over here. I'll stick my drive shaft in and I'll do my thing. I'll. Uh, Show it to you when I'm a little bit closer, but uh, essentially that is what I'm doing anyways. Could be right, could be wrong. Works for me. Uh, when you're doing cutting these, you want to make sure you clock these right, otherwise you'll get some pretty nasty vibrations. So this particular one was clocked, this one up and this one up. I've had some dry shafts that were different, I don't know why, but... That's the way I've always seen it, so that's the way I do it. Uh, so now I'm just going to cut this. I cut on the weld, on the weld, just before the weld, whatever. But you only got to go through the thickness of the pipe. So don't cut to nut. Don't cut too crazy. Like you can see, here's where the weld was. But I only went whatever I needed to to get in the pipe to, to get the bit off. So anyways, I'm going to cut this. I'll push it in, true it on the lathe. And then we can throw it in the truck and then I actually have a 4x4 <laughs> for a change instead of a big old two-wheel drive. Okay, let's start cutting.
go. We got one lengthened drive shaft. I like to, after I take it off, I just weld it in quarters. Might work if you do it in one continuous weld. It might all kind of square itself up, but I don't like to play that game, so. Perfect. All right, let's put it on the truck. Alrighty. Well, you got a drive shaft mounted. I am noticing some drippage. One part's coming from the diff, so I gotta look at what's going on there. And another one, I'm pretty sure might be one of my power steering lines way up into yonder. So I'm gonna go over, check on what's going on with that stuff. Anyways, let's have a peek. Well, I picked up some battery cable. Well, welding cable, battery cable, whatever. Uh, to run for my plug in the back. So, I'm going to string that out, fasten it up, and crimp the ends, do my grounds. Got some new terminals. Picked up some air fittings. Hopefully I got the right ones. I kind of blindly just bought them. And uh, see if I uh, can get the one plug working. Hopefully I bought enough I can do a front one and a rear. But uh, for now I just want to do this. Just in case if I'm on my truck, my trailer, I'm going to end up making some bigger jump cables so I can run my battery if I ever run it low on the trailer. Or if I got to jump something I can do that too. But I don't know how easy this will be to film. Well, there's not really much to show. I'm basically just going to be running the cable along the frame, fastening it to the frame, coming up underneath to my battery to which I'm probably going to change out my positive terminal to that bigger one that I have so I can smash more stuff into it and uh, crimp the ends and stab in the plug. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Well, I've been in here all night, <clears throat> and I sure don't have a lot to show for it. <laughs> uh, I did run the wiring back for this plug, so this thing's actually all were functioning, or should be. I ran my air lines back, so I have an air chuck back here. There's also one underneath by the tank. I... What else did I do? I got my... Light working, so it's wired with my high beams. I'm still working on cleaning up some wiring here. I got my trailer brake hooked up, run to the back, but I still haven't done the plug yet. Uh, I got all the airlines run into the cab. So that means my horn works. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've just been cleaning up wiring and stuff like that. Wired up a bit of the radio. I'm gonna have to make some... I uh... can't see. Anyways, I gotta make some kick panels down there tomorrow. Mount my other speakers. Wire those. And then... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure. Still have a few more things to do. Not a crazy amount though. We got that. See, we got a nice little camera. You can actually see it. I'm not sure. It's in the mirror, but 
So I gotta wire up tomorrow. I'm gonna wire up my indicator lights for my signals and my high beam. I yeah, I got my compressor is wired too. So that's in there. Yeah, I got a few things done. It was not worth filming, nor was it easy to film, so I didn't bother doing it. So tomorrow I am going to, basically I got to wire up my trailer plug and clean up the wiring under here. And then uh, I'll probably cut the bed floor. It's not very glorious, but it's going to do what I need it to do. I'm constantly throwing junk in here, so I don't want a really nice floor. I'm just going to wreck it. Uh, right where my hitch is, the goal there is to cut a four angle cut. So it'll be, uh, and then I would hinge in the front. So I can basically just lift the floor up, use my gooseneck, boom, drop the floor down. It's pretty much flat other than a small piano hinge. That is the plan. Cause I know Mr. Heavy Chevy, that guy, he uh, did his and he's got a nice little box. I don't know sure how he's doing his, but I thought that was pretty neat setup. So I'm doing, uh, I'm loosely kind of copying what he's doing there. Cool, but I guess that's it for tonight. You are just antsy to go in the house, aren't you? Hmm? All right, buddy, let's go. That is a nut. That's a wrap. All right, some more not super exciting things going on. Uh, I gotta wire up the trailer plug. Not super pumped about that. So let's work on the radio. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. We are going to, oh, let me find it. I gotta get my speakers and I gotta make some kick panels to fit some speakers in it. First thing you gotta do is do some CAD work for what I need for that panel. And then, uh, I'm sure these come with a pattern or something. Cut them out and stab those in. Okay, so I have one of these. These were the panels that covered, well, whatever, I guess the kick panel, that little opening in there. I had one. So I found this. A little chunk of plywood. I don't know what it was for, but uh, there's just enough room to make two of these on. So my idea is to make two of these and then I'm going to cut it out for the radio. I don't know if I'll cover them. I might have some vinyl upstairs and I might just quickly cover it, even though nothing else is really covered in the truck. But I'll do that and then uh, we can get the radio in there.
So that was pretty simple. We've got speakers in, run the wires. I gotta clean up all the wiring yet. Uh, I guess next thing I'm gonna do is get my indicators in there. I gotta do my signal and my high beam lights. Put those up in the dash. And then, I think clean up. I gotta do a lot of clean up. I gotta run my CB wires to my whips yet. And, yeah. Keep plugging away, I guess. Tons of little junk to do. Clean up the inside, because we're just about done in here. What have we got to do? I also got to wire in for the mirror, because my driver's side mirror is heated, so I may as well run that one in, figure out where I want to put a switch for that. I think I found one just sitting right here, doing nothing. I'll do that one for my mirror. And I found on the snowmobile outside, has another one of these convex mirrors like I have on the other side. So I'm going to put that on this side. And uh, yeah, we're getting close. Oh, there's still, yeah, I'm almost there. Almost there. Waiting for Roy to come by. He's supposed to have a visor for me. So I'm going to try to modify that one to work on here. Yeah. Years ago, it was at a swap meet, and somebody was selling a whole whack of these things. I think they were like a buck a pop for some refills, so they're kind of universal, so it's pretty much a win. Well, unfortunately that visor did not fit. Uh, it was too tight around the corners. So I'm gonna have to try a different style of sun visor. The one that has the little flip arms on the side. I think that one will actually work. So, eh, still on the hunt. I'll figure it out. Well, it wasn't too much to film today. Got a bunch done. I didn't do the signal doodads yet, but I did do, as you can see I got my camera, that's nice and bright now, because I got my backup lights on, or what I'm using for backup lights, I got the trailer light wired, uh, the relay for the lights, all that jazz, so the back of the truck is done. 
and uh, I got a few little bits inside the cab to do. So I just like say, got to do the signal lights, the marker light, um, high beam, and signal lights. So I need to do those indicators. I need to do the bed floor yet, which is pretty simple, but I just haven't got to it. I'm thinking I'm just. I tried my visor, that was a fail. So, my list isn't too big yet. I do my rear heat, I gotta figure out my shutters. If I do anything, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Still gotta bolt my gooseneck, or my hitch there. I wanna put those mud flaps on all around. Gonna make some braces for the rear. This one is done. So if visor's a fail, I gotta try to find another visor. Still gotta do some rubber around the rear windows and get some new glass, but that's a whatever for now. Yeah, not bad. Although, I gotta do my mirrors, my CV. Yeah, it has a few things I haven't added to the list. Seems to always happen, you make a list and then you gotta add some more stuff. Nope. Before I go in the house and kill my battery, you can see it was all shining, all pretty on the road. <clears throat> but like I say, I'm going to take a break from this one for a little while. I'm uh, going to start working on this one a little bit. This one should be pretty quick. I think there's a splash pan I got to do. This is the interior. Mount the seats. A few little things. Got a carpet to put in. Kind of going with a gray and black vinyl for the door panels. Not sure of the pattern as of yet. So, picked up some foam, spray, buttons for the doors. We're just going to do the old Coroplast door panels. Yeah, should be fun. Anyways, tomorrow's another day. There you go. Let's go, cool, buddy.